invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash with Alan Reed. A year ago, when Luigi Basto left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, America is a land of many wonderful things. And the most wonderful thing is the radio. This intervention must be to keep people in the streets. Because all the time I may hear a man say, run out to your nearest grocer. <laughs> Yesterday, I'm going to listen to my favorite story, Mamma Mia Perkins. <laughs> and the three times that the man has chased me out to my grocer. <laughs> so I'm going to make up my mind the next week I'm going to hear a whole story. I'm going to bring in a grocer to my house. <laughs> Anyway, Mamma Mia, I'm going to try to be real American. Man on the radio says, run to grocery and buy coffee. I buy coffee. He says, run to a drugstore and buy razor blades. I buy razor blades. Or the night, there's a come on a program, a grand central station. I'm going to turn it right off. Mamma Mia, I'm not going to buy the super chief. <laughs> but the Mamma Mia, I'm going to learn a lot from the radio. But I'm going to learn even more from my night of school class. Miss Spaulding, she's a smart and a beautiful teacher. And when she's a holding my hand in hers to teach me penmanship, I'm a feel like my fountain of pen is going to faint. <laughs> well, it's a time for my class, so I'm going to go for more education. And maybe more penmanship. <laughs> Quiet. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco. Present. Mr. Horowitz. Present. Mr. Olson. Present. Mr. Schultz. I'm here, but I didn't bring a present. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. Uh. Now, class, I have an important announcement to make. Inasmuch as our little class is six months old, I've decided to hold an essay contest. The essay will be on What is America? Now, you all know what an essay is, of course. Oh, but certainly, of course. <laughs> yes, Mr. Schultz? Essay is abbreviation for South America. <laughs> no, no. What then is abbreviation for South America? SB? <laughs> no, it's SA. You see, I was right, I was right, I'm always right. <laughs> please, Mr. Schultz, please. To tell you the truth, it was a lucky guess. <laughs> Mrs. Spaulding, I think I know what is an essay. Essay is a something you write, is a composition. That's huh? right, Mr. Basco. And I want everyone in the class to prepare an essay. I've invited a few of our local dignitaries to judge this contest. And this coming Tuesday night in our auditorium, we'll have refreshments. You can bring your friends, and each of you will address the group. Address the group? My goodness, ain't they going to be wearing no clothes? <laughs> That is not what I mean. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? Speech, Mr. Schultz, speech. Oh, my pleasure. Miss Spalding and fellow poopers. I'm not as I am. All right, all right, Mr. Schultz, that's fine. But save it for the contest. Now, one of our local merchants is going to donate a prize, and we expect to have a good crowd, probably two or three hundred people. Mr. Basco, what are you writing? I'm writing a note that telling you I'm going to be sick at Tuesday night. <laughs> You don't have to be jittery, Mr. Basco. Everyone there will be your friend. Oh, and here's a bit of advice. When you get up on that stage, just keep saying, I'm not nervous, I'm not nervous, I'm not nervous. All right, but while I'm selling that, who's going to make a speech for me? Wait, wait, wait for me. Oh, Luigi, you walk so fast. I'm so pooped, I'm gonna pop. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, Schultz, huh? I like more than anything to win this contest. But I'm here only one a year, and I know so little about America. Luigi, I'm here 30 years, and I'm just as stupid as you are. <laughs> Look, Luigi, if you think you don't know enough about America, why don't you go speak to people who do know? Uh, like your postman, for instance. Schultz, I'm learning nothing from my postman. Huh? I talk to him every morning since I've been here, and always he say the same thing. What's that? My feet is killing me. <laughs> and uh, talk to your banker. Oh, say, Luigi, why don't you go to your friend, Alderman Johnson? That's right. Alderman Johnson. Ah. He's to know everything about America. I go right now to see him. Thank you, Schultz. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Schultz. Yeah. Ain't you never nervous so when you got to make a speech? Uh-huh. Well, I never was before, Luigi, but now maybe I will be. Uh-huh. You see, I got a trick. When I make a speech, I never think there's people out in front of me. I'm always imagining they are sitting there, Betty Grable, Lana Turner, Hedy Lamar, and Rita Hayworth. Why you say you're nervous now? Because lately there's a new face in the audience. Oh. Ali Khan. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Alderman Johnson. You remember me? I was here last week. Why, certainly. I know every voter in my district. Never forget a face. Hey, what's your name? Hello, Luigi Bosco. You see, I guessed it. Well, what can I do for you, Bosco? Mr. Alderman Johnson, if you was going to make a speech about America, what the word do you say? Well, that's simple. America, land of the free, home of the brave, country of unequaled opportunity where every man can vote as he pleases. And I promise, if elected, to guarantee... Please, please. I'll stand a building, a chicken in every pot, two cars in every garage... Mr. Johnson. All right, three cars. Mr. Johnson. You don't get another car if you drop dead. (laughs) Mr. Alderman, I was asking you about America. Oh, yes. America, my favorite country. America, the broad, wide land where 140 million Americans are joined together into one great union. I always thought there was a two unions, AFL and a CIO. <laughs> The USA, land of the free and home of the brave. And I promise if I'm elected... Alderman Johnson, I... Alderman Johnson, please. I am appreciate the very much what you tell me. But the where can I get to the facts about America and the history? Well, you can go to the public library, but you won't find out more than I know. Why, my head's filled with facts. Uh, let me tell you about the pilgrims landing at Plymouth Rock in 1776. <laughs> Excuse it, there was a 16 or 20. Uh, let me quote you Lincoln's Gettysburg's address. Uh, I have but one life to give to my country. <laughs> Wasn't it four score and a 70 years ago? Uh, Oh, the unforgettable words of Paul Revere on his famous horse ride at midnight. I do not choose to run. (laughs) Wasn't it one if by land and a two if by sea? Basco, you'd better go to the library. What's the matter? How do you expect to learn anything if you keep interrupting me? My friend, hello, Luigi, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pasquale. What's the matter with you, Luigi? Your face is looking like it's lost its best friend. Well, Pasquale, here's a long story. I got to make a speech about America, and I'm trying to get us some facts. Schultz couldn't help me. So I went to my older man, and then I go to the library. Oh, sure, I... sure, go to everybody except the fellow that's bringing you from the older country, Pasquale. What's happening, that thing? Why are you running like a crazy caterpillar around the tree when all the time you could have come straight to the sap? <laughs> You're so right, Pasquale. Nobody's a bigger sapper than you. That's a funny thing. When I'm saying it, it's a sound of different. <laughs> well, Pasquale... I'm now coming to you for a help. The lady in the library said, before I can get a card, I must get a two-character reference who signed this paper for me. Well, 
Well, the library. I'm a glad you're coming to educate a man. Give me the paper. I read that. Ho due persone fumari che tanto per protezione. Pasquale, where do you see Italian words? I'm a just a translating so I can understand what I'm a reading. <laughs> Luigi, I'm glad to sign this paper for you, and I'm going to get other signature for you, too. Thank you, Pasquale. My countryman. Sure, a countryman should help each other out. Luigi, I do you a favor, maybe you do me a little favor. Sure, Pasquale. One hand should always wash up the other. Good. I'm going to sign a paper for you. You sign a paper for me. All right, the Pasquale. What the paper you want, I should sign. A marriage license with my daughter, Rose. <laughs> nothing to do with it, Pasquale. Nothing to do with it. Your daughter, Rose, is too fat for me. You call it 250 pounds of fat? That's a skinny. Too much of skin. <laughs> Luigi, you bad a business, a man. How much is the way normal a girl? About uh, 125 a pound. So my rose is the way 250. You lucky fellow, you get a two girls for one prize. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, be sensible. You marry my daughter, and I'm going to pay for a free honeymoon to Niagara Falls for you and the rose. Is it no deal, Pasquale? I'm not to go to Niagara Falls with a barrel. <laughs> oh, Luigi, you're making me so mad, I would have thrown you out of the store in a second. If I could have found another boob to get a stuck with a rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, you mean you're not going to sign this library paper? I meant to you in the two words. N-O. <laughs> now, Mr. Speechmaker, what are you going to have to say Tuesday night, eh? I'm going to be there with a the rosa and the rest of the crowd. You're going to be so stupid we all laugh at you like a bigger boob. Not yet, Pasquale. I'm going to get two other people to sign it. Oh, sure. And who's going to sign it for you, my broken down little antique deal, eh? What two people are you going to get? Sears in a roadbook? <laughs> Flotsam and a Jetsam? <laughs> I.J. and a Fox? <laughs> all right, go ahead. The microphone, Pasquale. But I find the two people. They sign up for me, then I go to the library and I get the cyclopedia. Cyclopedia? Luigi, my son, a Mary Rose, I buy you a bicycle. <laughs> Pasquale, cyclopedia is a mean a book. What? Out of my store, you stupid fool. Now, even if you want a Mary Rose, I don't want you. Why? Any man who's crazy enough to ride around on a book, he's a don't belong in my store. <laughs> Now for the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, it looks like I'm not going to win a speech contest on what is America. Because I'm not going to get two character references for library. Pasquale, he's turning me down, and he's going to make everybody else turn me down. Only two people who would be willing to sign up for my character that are now in Italy. Uncle Pietro and his goat. <laughs> and Uncle Pietro, he can't sign his name. <laughs> so I go back to the library and I tell a lady I'm going to make a bargain with her. And instead of taking a big encyclopedia and giving her two reference, I'm going to take a smaller book and give her one reference. She's going to say no. So I say, how's about I take a pamphlet and I leave my hat for deposit? <laughs> She's a say, no. I guess maybe my hat doesn't fit her. Anyway, I'm a sitting in my antique store wondering what I should do next when the door is a suddenly open up. Well, Luigi, my fellow booby, <laughs> are you all ready to win the contest on what is America tomorrow night? Sure, she's a worse than that. I'm a think I'm a gonna have a nothing to say. But that's too bad, Luigi, but that's good for me. <laughs> Without you, I think maybe tomorrow night I will be crowned Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> well, smile, Luigi, smile. Remember that behind every dark cloud is peeping a little Tom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Schultz, 
Shoot. You know something? Ah. I'm a just to get an idea. Oh. You a businessman. Maybe you sign a character reference for me in library so I can take out the books. Books? Why, Luigi, without books, you know, I would be lost. You know, I got one book in my delicate essence for the last two years. It takes so long to read? Who reads? I tear out the pages and wrap up herrings in it. <laughs> Schultz, please sign this paper for me. So I can get a book from a library. Well, huh? I love to, Luigi, but I can't sign. You see, this book I'm talking about belongs to the library, and it's overdue. You see, I got it since January the 2nd. Well, Schultz, it's only a few weeks since January the 2nd. 1911? Mamma <laughs> <laughs> oh, mia, Schultz, if nobody is going to sign for me... I think I'm going to go right now to Miss Spaulding and tell her I'm out of the contest. No, no, Luigi, wait a minute. If you only want to study in the book, just go to the library in the research room. You mean it's not necessary to have a card? Of course not. Schultz, thank you for this information. <laughs> I'm going to go right now to the library. Goodbye. Goodbye, Luigi. Oh, well, Luigi, wait a minute. Wait huh? a second, yeah. Uh, when you walk out of the library, uh -huh. you should see a nice fat book with a lot of pages. You see, I'm running short for my herrings. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Goodbye, Schultz. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. Excuse me, Mr. Library Lady. My friend, he's telling me something about the research. Yes? So if you don't mind, I'm like to search this place. <laughs> if you tell me what you're looking for, sir, perhaps I can help you. Well, I'm like to study a book on what is America. And if you give me advice, I'd be happy to listen. Uh, what era? What the era? <laughs> Lady, you can talk in either one. I'm here good in a book. <laughs> Any particular date? Well, I'm interested in finding out... Try it, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are people reading. You'll have to lower your voice. All right. Uh, I'm interested in finding out... Too, too low. Uh, I'm interested in finding out... Too loud. <laughs> I'm interested. How's that? <laughs> Good. I'm uh, interested in a find the right, please. <laughs> now, now, just go over to that filing cabinet. Look under the A's, and you'll find hundreds of books listed under America. Thank you so much. Hmm, it's so quiet to hear. Everybody's a read for themselves. Guess that they don't want nobody else to shoot and enjoy. Ah, here's the cabinet. Oh, there's a little card in the front of each box. Let me see. What does the first card is to say? Ah, to, bug. <laughs> That's a funny. Libraries have got a bugs. <laughs> well, I'm looking for a book. I pull out this a draw. Oh, I guess I pulled out the too far. I'm, I'm a sorry, people. Quiet, please. <laughs> ah, there. Drawer is a back, and now I'm looking at two cards. A lot of cards under America. Hey, what's this? America, C. Hmm. Excuse, please, Miss Library Lady. This is a card that say, I should see you. What? Sure, and this is a card that say, America, see us. That's U.S. Well, that's us. <laughs> it means United States. Look under you. Huh? <laughs> what am I going to find under me? In the card cabinet, United States. Oh, all right. Thank you. Now, this is the time I pull them out the slow. 
Mamma mia, short the drawer. I wonder what's uh, happened to that other fella. Maybe he should go home. Well, I look for a book. United States, all so see under. Right, me. He's a back. I'm sorry. United States, see Colombia. Uh, Colombia, Colombia. Ha! Huh. Colombia, gem of the ocean. See, God bless America. <laughs> ah, God bless America. See, Irving of Berlin. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm going to spend all this time looking for America and I'm going to wind up in a Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try under A again. Let me see now. America, America. Rise of America. Hey, that's so good. Rise of American Civilization by Charles and Mary Beard. And Mr. Library Lady. Shh. What is it? Please, I'd like to see this book on America by Charles and Mary. But what's the last name? I don't know, but they both got beards. <laughs> no, that's not the right. Mary can't have a beard. Well, you must mean The Rise of American Civilization by oh. Charles and Mary Beard. Uh-huh. The book is right here on the shelf. Thanks. Here, take it. Thank you. Please try to be quiet uh -huh. and sit down. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Mamma mia, what am I going through for that speech? Hey, wait a minute. This book can look good. I read. The first man to reach America was a Norseman named Leif Erikson. That's a big lie. Hey, library lady, what about the Christopher Columbus? Why? Why? In the free country. I'll have to leave. I don't know. What the? I'll have to ask you to leave. Please. I'd be quiet. It's too late. You'll have to go now. But I've not got a speech. Well, you've made too much noise. Please leave now. This way out. Mamma mia. A lot of time I learn in the library. I can just see myself standing up in an auditorium in front of Pasquale and the rest of the people tomorrow night. And all I'm going to be able to say is, quiet the place. <laughs> and so, in conclusion, fellow poopers and classmates, let me say... America is just like a big delicatessen. In the north is salami, in the south is bologna, in the east is sauerkraut, and in the west is uh, California. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schultz. Well, we've heard from almost everyone in the class, and now we'll hear from our last speaker, Mr. Luigi Vasco. Mrs. Spaulding, I got only one thing to say. What's that? I'm not to hear. <laughs> come now, Mr. Basco. Everybody was just as nervous as you. <laughs> now, come on up here on the stage. Come on. That's it. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, business of people and a guest of honor. I'm going to have lots of trouble finding out information and stuff about America. So I'm going to have to have a regular speech. I'm going to not have anything from a books. All I can tell you about what is America is now a little more than a year since I'm arrived in America. How I'm going to remember exciting a speech Captain he makes on a boat. He tells how America is a big melting pot. He says if you want to enjoy the pot, you got to melt. <laughs> Captain is a talker so much. About the melting of pot, by the time I step off of the boat, I'm going to feel like a beef stew. <laughs> but now, now I know what the captain means. America is a place where everybody is living nice together. Only I think captain will make one mistake. Here is a fast. Everything is a speed, a quick. 
people is a hustle and a bustle and a rush and fast, always in a hurry. America is not the melting pot. It's a pressure cooker. <laughs> But as a pressure cooker, what I like. Because, well, take our own class. We got the Miss Spaulding, Schultz, Olison, Horowitz, and the May Basco, and we all best of a friend. I'm a proud of America. Someday I become a citizen. I hope America is to be proud of me. Well, I think I'm a finish. Well, uh, now that the speeches are over, the judges will select the winner. In the meantime, there are refreshments in the back. Thank you. Eh, uh, Luigi, you big fool. Just like I must say, your speech was so bad and nobody's even a clap of hands for you. Liza Pasquale, I know. I I'm feeling bad enough. All right, uh, Luigi. Maybe this is going to teach you a lesson. Forget about a foolish night to school and education. That's not for you. You should have get married like every normal man. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Pasquale. But who's going to marry a dope like me? I got it just to the right to match. <laughs> Rosa! 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 You called me so Come here, Rosa. Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, even though this uh, Luigi is the dumbest, the most uh, stupid, the biggest, the green horn of boob, I think uh, we're still uh, willing to marry him. <laughs> Me too. Oh, shut up, you Will everyone take his seat? We are now ready to announce the winner of our contest. In the unanimous opinion of the judges, who, like you, were so touched they were unable to applaud, I am happy to say it is Mr. Luigi Basco. Mama. Mama mia. And Mr. Fisher, one of our judges, would like to make a special award. Thank you, Miss Baldy. Mr. Basco, I understand you had quite a bit of trouble trying to get a library card. I happen to be the head librarian for this district, and it gives me great pleasure to present you with a library card of your own. But I have to have a two-character reference. <laughs> Mr. Basco, a man of your character doesn't need reference. Mamma mia, it's a wonderful... But, Pasquale, you make me feel so terrible, like the worst day of my life. But uh, no more. From uh, now on, I'm uh, never coming to your store again, never. And now for the award which was so generously donated by one of our local businessmen, Mr. Pasquale. What? <laughs> Mr. Basco, you have just won two weeks' free meals at Pasquale's Spaghetti Palace. <laughs> Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff, Lou Derman, and Cy Howard and stars J. Carol Nash as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray, Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>